Good afternoon. Welcome to the social media program on television, The Buzz. And of yeah. course, it's buzzing this Tuesday afternoon. It's the 25th of September, 2018. And as always, I'm always excited to be on the table. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. My name is Patience, and uh, I'm here with some fine-looking gentlemen. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Welcome to the show. <laughs> I'm afternoon. right. You're so vain. <laughs> so you're a fine-looking man. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Today, as always, uh, there'll be a slight deviation, you know, in what we'll be discussing. But we'll be t talking national issues, but we'll also be talking about this man here who is also making the rounds on social media. His real name is Samuel Soft Akimieno. I hope Akimieno. <laughs> <laughs> He's from the ancient town or ancient city of Uzeba in Edo wow. State. All right, I think I know where Uzeba is. Um, well, Do originally from Edo State. Oh, so wow, okay. Even though by affiliation, I'm now from Imo State. Uh, if mm. you know, you know. So mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a good thing. <laughs> All right, anyways, he's a multi talented uh, doctor minister. Uh, he goes by the name. Sam Soft and is right here with us. Thank you, Sam so Soft, for joining us on the show. Thank you. All right. Also, mm, we have the national chairman for liberation movement, which Thank is uh, sorry, Lagos State chapter. Na okay, national chairman, Lagos State chapter for <laughs> chairman, liberation. Anyways, liberation chair, chair. movement. I've talked so much about liberation movement yeah. on this show. It's a, a new party that was unveiled yeah. weeks ago in Lagos and is for hmm. the young people in Nigeria who want to actively get involved in politics. It's a pleasure to have Comrade Rahman Adipi with us on the show. Good Thank afternoon. you. Thank you. Mm. It's good to be here. Good to have you here. All right, our business and financial consultant, Shegu Shokwiton, is almost here. He'll be joining us in the course of the program. But of course, we cannot wait. The show has to go on. Remember, the number to use is 0802-836-8971, and it's for SMS only. Today on the program, we'll be discussing NAS postponing resumption of plenary. The National Assembly has postponed resumption of plenary session earlier scheduled for Tuesday, the 25th September, which is supposed to be today, uh, to Tuesday, the 9th of October, due to activities of the primaries of, well, the political parties. Uh, according to a statement by the clerk to the National Assembly, M.A. Sani Omolori, Omol, Omol <laughs> I hope I got that right, all distinguished senators and honorable members are expected to resume plenary session by 10 a.m. on the 9th of October. Meanwhile, the abundant Nigeria Renewal Party, ANRP, have described the National Assembly's rescheduled resumption as insensitive to pressing national issues. According to the national spokesman for the party, Mr. Sesuga Kume, uh, the postponement shows that uh, NAS is insensitive and a dereliction of duty for them to take long breaks and be at ease, not considering urgent matters requiring prompt attention and of course this issue has been gathering momentum, momentum. yes yeah, on social yeah. media all right i'd like to start from that end of the <clears throat> table uh comrade this new date as set by the national assembly yeah. should nigerians be worried i think nigerians are already worried mm. because the drama in the senate mm. is a lot of things to worry about mm -hmm. because the question on on hand has been told is that oh for primary elections going on, I mean, between how many parties, mm -hmm. PDP and APC, basically. Other parties are not there, mm -hmm. you know, in the Senate. So why postpone what becomes a national issue, what becomes a, a, a national interest representation that you should put as your front, front burner? Because one of the things for you as a representative of the, of the people is you are serving them. Mm -hmm. You are not serving yourself. So if you are serving the people, the people's interest must come first. But here is the self-interest of the individuals that are coming first. Mm -hmm. Be that as it is, Nigeria right now need to move forward mm -hmm. because for for some for some month now, the uh, NAS has been on, on recess, mm -hmm. which means that the country has not been functioning at that level for a long time. 
this is an opportunity for you to quickly come in and catch up with the activity with the affairs of Nigeria and move Nigeria forward. There is a lot of outstanding bills that need to be uh, deliberated upon. Mm -hmm. Some have been reverted back to them for them to work on. So a lot of things are there. One week, to, today is the 25th day of September, mm -hmm. and you are waiting for another two weeks to come back to be able to do the affairs of the country. Why mm -hmm. are you doing so? Mm -hmm. Nigerians have been taken for granted, and Nigerians are just sitting down there. They are not saying anything because they feel that, oh, Mana will come from heaven. Somebody's going to come and change Nigeria for us. This is the little milestones that you begin to take your people accountable. Because people, they, the political class need to be accountable to the people. And the people need to demand their rights. Because today, by this morning, for them not announcing that something, uh, that they are postponing their resumption date, mm -hmm. some advocacy group need to be talking about this mm -hmm. because it's a national concern. Mm -hmm. The whole world is not waiting for us. It doesn't happen in advanced countries like this that you, because of an internal democracy of your party, begin to jeopardize the national issue. Mm -hmm. Everybody must live by the rule of law. And mm -hmm. rule of law says that national interest, you know, should be foremost in your heart. So that's why I see it. And mm. of course, we'll go into other issues. And of course, time. before you know it now, it's time to take the Christmas break. <laughs> then we'll go on holidays again, you of know, uh, for that. Anyways. And, and then to add to it, I mm. think um, the, the drama in the house is not going to end yet. Mm. Because and that might be part of the political shenanigans that is causing this postponement. Because on the face of it, yes, it is being said that for them to prepare for primary elections across board. But how about the shenanigans that have been on ground? How about the issues that have been on the divide of people defecting from one party? Because so now another. so many the, issues. The, so. the, 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 the issue at mm. hand is a lot that mm. the, uh, even if you like postpone from now till the like, don't come, the issues are not going to run away. They are still going to wait you. And Nigerian problem, Nigerian challenge, nobody's going to fix it for us. We have to fix it by ourselves. Mm. So if you like the defect from party A to B, you are still going to come back to the table and discuss Nigeria and move Nigeria forward. True. All right, Samson, what do you think about this? First of all, it's like I just walked into <laughs> drama. And, you know, I'm just coming from the United States, and mm. so it's like I saw it on the news. I was like, oh, my God, not again. Mm. It's like the voices of the people was, was hijacked. Yeah. So they, are, they don't have no power, no strength, because their vote is supposed to count. Mm. But now they are, they are waiting for their vote mm. to count. And when, you, when stuff like this happens, you begin to worry because something bad is about to happen because like, something is going wrong somewhere because the, if the people make a vote, they should be able to uh, get their, yeah. mm. their, their, their voice heard. <laughs> it, it's a lot of uh, issues you know, uh, pending uh, that should have been discussed, resolved, and dealt with. Uh, for instance, the, Terrorist attacks, you know, if I have to put it that way, are still ongoing. They will not wait in some parts of the country. They won't wait and say, okay, NAS is on break. Exactly. So let us, let's exactly. hold on to the reconvene. That is going on. The issue of the humanitarian worker that was killed, was, the Red Cross yeah. woman, that is an issue that the National Assembly should have looked at and, you know, how to salvage the image of Nigeria in that regard, especially to the international community. That, nothing was done. The Electoral Act, that is still on, the, still table. on the table. So hmm. many issues. So when they reconvene, we have a little time before we go on another break. How much really can they, um, can they resolve in that little time? And also to ask, can this lead to a shutdown of government? Um, as we are right now, the country has been without the NAS for a couple of months. Yeah. It, it, it means that we've been operating without, without the a, top yeah, health, yeah. Uh, you know, the, the, that arm of government mm. for a while now. Mm. And in Senate clients, you had the opportunity to fix Nigerian problem. And that harm of government is, the, is where the people representation is. Because you have the Senate and the House of uh, Representatives there, where that the people that are closer to the, to the masses, the more, the grassroots, mm. they should, because you cannot tell me that your issues, that the issue of flooding is there, mm. that need to be ironed out, the issue that you have identified, the Electoral Act, which, is, which concerns everybody right now because mm. we're in the euphoria of politics right now. Mm. So there's a lot of issues that need attention that need to, that to be addressed. Because with you not being at the, at the city, mm -hmm. it means that everybody has to wait for you. Can Nigeria continue to wait for the National Assembly? Mm. No. So, but one thing I want to 
add to what you just said is that the government, when we talk about the government, it's like sometimes you, you think the government is not relevant mm. because the normal things for the individual in the country, like the little, little things that, to enjoy. that the people need to use to enjoy, yeah, they cannot, they're not there. Like yeah. we only, the, if Nigerians can have good roads, water and all that, they, but they will make promises and yet they will not even fulfill those promises. It's like we have government, but they are invisible. Mm. Okay. All right, we have to take a very quick break. We'll take a very short, short break, but we'll come back and we'll continue on this issue. Don't go away. Nollywood Worldwide Entertainment requires content from producers or content owners of City. joining us again we have to take that quick break to allow our third panelist to join us on the show this afternoon he is a business and financial consultant and is also chairman uh, board of trustees for act network a good governance advocacy group mr. Shegun Shokwiton good afternoon mr. Shokwiton good afternoon thank madam. you for making it thank you for having me okay Apologies for coming late. it's all right <laughs> traffic yes <laughs> all right before you go here we're discussing about the postponement of uh resumption uh of nas and of course uh, the, the two gentlemen here have already had uh their own mm -hmm. little say but then how does that uh, news how did the news rather how did it strike you you know when you heard it yesterday um I, 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 I don't think we should mince words, mm. you know, on this on this issue. And I think that um, somebody needs to call our politicians to order. Mm -hmm. You know, um, enough of taking us for granted, mm -hmm. enough of, of taking us for a ride. Mm -hmm. um, it's pure politics, and it's obvious. So what's at play is simple. It's you know, um, will there be an impeachment move, or will there not be an impeachment move mm. when they resume? It's all in the air. We don't know. And quite frankly, like I would always say. I'm a good governance advocate, I don't care. If Saraki gets impeached, I don't care. If uh, Tambua gets impeached, I don't care. The important thing is that governance, the work of governance must proceed. Mm -hmm. You know, so they can't just out of the blue say because of party primaries, mm -hmm. they will now postpone resumption of plenary by two weeks mm -hmm. when there are very serious pending issues, you know, that they need to deal with. I, I think it just flies in the face of reason and all Nigerians should I don't know whether this can be reversed. Hmm. I don't know. I think they've done what they need to do or what they want to do. Want to do right? But we need to make it clear to them that we cannot go on like this. Sure. They can't hmm. keep taking us for granted and taking us for a ride. You know? hmm. All right, before he got here, I did ask the question, can this lead to a shutdown of government in any way? As we speak hmm. today, Nigerians have not experienced a shutdown of government from that access. Like I said, technically, this is a shutdown from that harm of government mm -hmm. because they've not been functioning for a while. Mm -hmm. They are it's recessed. That. That's what it means. <laughs> so a further two weeks means that the shutdown continues for another two, another weeks. two weeks. Because what, let's break it down into simple words for people to understand. It means that the MDCU of a company is not on a seat for mm -hmm. three months. Mm -hmm. He has, he's meant to resume. There are pressing issues that are outstanding. Mm. He needs to resume and you know, deal with those issues, give approvals, 
say, you know, people to go and rethink certain things, and it's not there for another two weeks. If somebody's going to die, he's going to die. He doesn't care. That's what it means. So it, it means that they need to be accountable to us, you know, to the masses of Nigeria, that yes, the governance that is their primary assignment needs to be done. Because Nigerians are not asking for too much. They're asking for what they voted for. Because that's part of the KPI of what you vote for. For the people that you put in a position of, of, of authority to be accountable to you. Mm -hmm. And in a smart economy, you don't even need to even be talking about all these things now. Exactly. That's why we're saying that let the people who know how come on board and do this thing rightly. Mm -hmm. You don't see, we always think that governance is something that is difficult, complex. When you break it down to simple basics, you realize that the man on the street in Nigeria can contribute what would be meaningful to solve a complex solution. Very because true. Because we're looking for solutions that are, yeah, somewhat hazard made, mm. but simple, because a typical environment will come in with own typical solutions. True. Sure. Yeah, thank you. Okay. All right. Uh, I think this is also a pointer to the type of politics or politicking yeah. that we we'll yeah. practice yeah. in this climb, you know, where members of the Senate you know, everybody is away in a particular state to campaign for, you, you get what I mean. Right. Uh, so, so, I don't know, is this how politics is done wish, everywhere else? Does it, I, you I know, wish, comply wish, with international I, best let, practice? Let me, let me answer your question mm. by painting a scenario. So, mm. the Senate president, and I must say, you know, I'm completely um, neutral when it comes to the APC, PDP thing. I mm. really must say that because people will receive this, you know, with those... Uh, prisons yes. and it taints our logic. Mm. Now the Senate, the president of our Senate is undergoing a trial, right? Rightly or wrongly, politics, let's leave that, but he's undergoing a trial at the Code of Conduct, Conduct Tribunal and he has a sitting mm -hmm. as an accused in the dock. Mm -hmm. And the business of the Senate of the Federal Republic is shut down mm. so that members can follow can him exactly to the around. Court. I yeah. mean it's it's, it's it's unthinkable, it's unheard of. In other parts of the world, maybe the guy would have resigned of his own volition, mm. without pressure. Like, oh, how can you accuse me of this? My integrity is being impugned. This office cannot be taken through this. I hereby tender my resignation. That's the way it's done in other parts of the world. So, not to talk of, you are now, I mean, if they can abandon the business to go and help their uh, first among the poor colleague mm. to mm -hmm. face uh, uh, potentially criminal charges, then, you know, you can imagine how easy it will be for them. Mm. To leave the business of the day to go and campaign, you know. You know, I, I wish we can look at it like solidarity, support for one another, because <laughs> we have seen it happen in the past before, where one person from them is in trouble, and then mm. everybody ra rallies round him. Uh, right. I would like to dis describe it as solidarity. It's their right. They can solidate <laughs> as much as they want, but they can write off yeah. down the business of government mm. to do mm. <laughs> as citizens of Nigeria, mm -hmm. as. Uh, as people in, in authority, mm -hmm. you have the right. Mm -hmm. But you must ask yourself, what is the primary function? What am I here to do? Exactly. Every responsibility, you know, you must know how to dispose that responsibility to the people who put you there. Mm -hmm. And uh, when we take, say that people have been taken for granted, people don't know that when you need to say A and you say B, that person has taken you for granted by denying you the value of that A at the right time. True. And that's what, as simple as, you know, as basic as people should understand it. If NAS, they have the right to go on recess. Nobody's talking about that. But we're saying that the issue at hand boiling in Nigeria at the moment now requires urgent attention. And the, the, the law says that you, are, you can even cut short your, your recess, uh, recess and come back and attend to national issues. Mm -hmm. And the national issues are enormous as we speak. Mm -hmm. Floods, people have been ravaged by flood in the part of Nigeria is enough to, for any serious government to come 